Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday friends, it is a Friday, it's the weekend, it is weigh-in day, WW Workshop Day, and of course I'm going to share with you how crazy my week was and we're going to set some goals for next week and spoiler alert, I'll be on the road to my new home in Arizona next week, so it's going to be quite a challenge. I'm going to share with you how I'm going to navigate traveling and staying on track. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a future upload. I do a weigh-in WW workshop topic recap and setting some goals every single Friday, so make sure your notification bell is turned on. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, we'd love to have you. If you want a healthy, supportive, amazing community, come on over and join us. So let's go ahead and jump into my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I wanted to do a couple of housekeeping things before we jump into today's video. So number one, there will not be a grocery haul up tomorrow, Saturday, because I'm not buying any groceries since we're actually packing up our moving truck on Sunday and we are hitting the road Monday morning. We are in the final stages of finishing up a lot of the food that we have on hand, so I don't have a reason to hit the grocery store this week. So there, are, there will not be a grocery haul this Saturday. And also, as a reminder, there is no meal prep this this coming up Monday either because we'll be on the road to Arizona. We actually start our three-day trip on Monday and we should arrive in Arizona pretty late in the evening on Wednesday because it is about a 23-hour drive. We're in a U-Haul. We have several cars with dogs, so we need to make sure that we're making lots and lots of stops. So it's going to be quite the adventure, but the great news is I plan on vlogging the entire trip down to Arizona so you can not only see see what I'm eating and how I'm staying on track, but also just the scenery and how the adventure, because it's going to be an adventure, is going for us. Once I get to Arizona and we get settled in our house, I'll have a massive, massive grocery haul and I'll be back to my normal content, my meal preps, what I eat in a day, grocery hauls, weigh-ins, all of that will pick right back up once we get settled into our new home. Now my other content is remaining the same, so stay tuned for lots of videos coming your way even while traveling. So let's chat a little bit about my week. My best friend flies in from San Diego today. I actually pick her up from the airport at about 3 p.m. today. She is flying in to not only help us pack the U-Haul, but to drive one of our cars to Arizona for us. Since we have three cars, we need three people to drive those cars. So she's coming down to do that for us. So I'm super excited to see her. So this week, I really focused on getting things ready for our move. Our house is completely packed with the exception of this background, which is the final thing to pack up after the filming of today's video and we are ready. We are essentially ready to load up the U-Haul. I also really focused on exercise this week. It's my last week going to my gym and utilizing my membership so I've been going and walking quite regularly. I actually walked five days this week on the treadmill at my gym which is great for me. I am no longer going to Jazzercise. I actually had my membership end at the end of February so that I wasn't paying for the full month of March because it is a pretty pricey membership. And I was just utilizing going to my local gym and walking on the treadmill, which has been my form of exercise so far this month. My food has been great. I've been so busy with packing and going to appointments. I'm trying to get in all of those yearly exams and yearly appointments done. I also got my hair done, my nails done, my eyebrows waxed, so I've been really busy just getting everything done before we venture to Arizona since we don't really have anything set up there yet for us to utilize for our normal appointments. When I'm really busy, I find myself not hungry and I find myself actually having to plan to eat or when my stomach starts to growl a little bit, that's when I reach for some food. So my food has been great and because we're using up what we have on hand, which is healthy options, I've been able to make some excellent, excellent choices this week. And honestly, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really lean. Starting about Monday or Tuesday of this week, my body just felt really lean and I wanted to step on the scale. I really wanted to step on the scale to see if how I, how I was feeling actually translated on the scale. 
but I didn't. I didn't get on the scale until today. And of course, I'll be sharing my weigh-in with you, but I do want to talk to you a little bit about this week's WW Workshop topic because it's really relevant to myself as I'm moving to a new state and relevant to all of us and who we surround ourselves with for our weight loss. And this week's topic is how to create a healthy social circle. This is so important. They always say that you are what you eat, you are the people who you hang out with, and this can play a big part in our weight loss. Whether it's your partner, your boss, your friends, your favorite YouTuber or blogger that you follow on Insta, it's really important to have a healthy social circle. These people essentially influence how you live your life every day. They influence the choices that you make, whether they're positive or negative. So think about your social circle. Let's map it out on how to decide whether or not the people in our social circle are healthy for us when it comes to our day-to-day -day lives as well as our healthy lifestyle journey. So number one is to make a list of the people closest to you in your social circle. Think about who you talk to, listen to, or read and see. And this kind of goes with following on social media. You talk to your spouse, your friends, your family, your coworkers. How do these people play a role? You listen to YouTubers, podcasts, news anchors, and musicians. And you read or see authors and social media accounts. Now, don't get me wrong, I love social media. I'm on social media, but social media can be a really toxic place if you don't cultivate your social media circle to work for you. Number two is who do you interact with most from this group of people? Think about their tone, what they say, and how you feel when you're around them or engaging with them. And number three is who from this smaller list, now that you've narrowed it down a little bit, who actually helps you on your weight loss journey and who would you like to connect with even more? It's all about focusing on what you can control because we can't control other people. We can't change other people. We can't control what people say or do in our inner circle, but we certainly can control who we interact with and how that affects us. Now, once you've narrowed down this circle and you've put the good people in one list and the maybe not so positive people in the other, it's time to recalibrate. Focus on the people who aren't helping you move forward. Put them in the back seat and focus on those people that help you, who spark joy, that make you feel good about yourself and help you in your journey. And then number five is to try making a plan for change this week. What's one thing you can tweak? Where are you going to do this? And how will you remind yourself and give yourself the motivation to do so? It's hard to eliminate people out of our lives who aren't healthy for us. Now, it's much easier to unfollow accounts on social media or YouTube, or it's it's even a little bit easier to end relationships with friends or coworkers. But if this person or these people are part of your really close circle, your spouse or your family, it can be much more challenging to sever or distance that relationship. But we also have to do what's best for us. And if those people aren't serving you in a positive way for your overall life, as well as your weight loss, then it's time to really think about whether or not you want those people to continue to be in your life. The people we surround ourselves with, whether indirectly or directly, can play a big part in our overall happiness. Noticing how they impact you, whether that be positive or negative, can really play a big part in cultivating a healthy, happy social circle that serves you in so many ways. I'll tell you that ridding toxic people from our lives, again, whether it be directly, indirectly on social media, can really help us feel better about ourselves. And when we feel good about ourselves, it's easier to make healthy changes that include weight loss. So really think about your social circle and try narrowing that down and cultivating a healthy social circle. I really like this topic. I know for me that there have been several people that I've unfollowed on social media specifically. There are Facebook groups that I've been in that I find to just be really toxic and negative and I immediately remove myself from those. And if you're in my Facebook group, you know that we do not tolerate any negativity or toxicity. Those people are immediately blocked and removed in their posts are deleted. We want to cultivate a healthy, happy, positive Facebook group that's there for support and love. So if you find yourself in my same boat where social media can be toxic for you, join us over on my Facebook group because I promise it is a happy, healthy group to be in.
I've also eliminated a lot of friends and I no longer talk with coworkers that bring toxicity into my life. We have to look out for us and we have to do what's best for us. And sometimes that means making really hard decisions on who we have in our lives. I promise that even though these decisions are hard, they're very, very beneficial. So take a deep dive into who you have closest to you. So now it's time to jump in to my weigh-in. And I want to remind you that I was feeling really good this week, feeling nice and lean. I don't know about you. Let me know down in the comments. Do you just feel when you've lost weight or gained weight? I can just feel it, feel it in my body. And I felt really good this week. So when I stepped on the scale, the scale, the scale was my best friend today. I am down 2.2 pounds this week, 2.2 pounds, which is absolutely incredible. I think it's a mix of being extra active, not only just going to the gym more, but also getting in lots and lots of steps every day. I'm hitting well over 10,000 steps between walking on the treadmill and packing and getting ready to move. Maybe the stress of everything played a positive part in my weight loss and just eating really good food and focusing on healthy food I know has made a big difference for me. I will go ahead and put my total weight loss overall here on the screen for you. I am inching closer and closer to 100 pounds loss and closer and closer to my overall end weight loss goal. I did do my massive, massive closet clean out. I'll link that video down below for you. And I have a fun video coming your way Sunday with a try on haul of some amazing new clothes. And you will be shocked at what size of clothes I'm able to wear. I know I was shocked. So I feel really, really good about my week and I can't wait to see what the next week brings. I am planning and prepping and setting myself up for success when we hit the road. In fact, I went through my pantry and kind of packed up all my canned goods and the foods that we're not going to be eating. And I set aside healthy snacks for myself, my husband and Rachel, my best friend, so that we can stay on track while traveling. We're going to have to eat all of our meals out. So I'm going to show you in the vlog how I navigate that. And my goal is to lose weight by the time I get to Arizona, to lose weight on a three-day road trip. So if you're interested, again, make sure you're subscribed and your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss the vlog. Now I wanna hear from you guys on how your week was. What do you, how do you feel about this whole healthy social circle? And what have you done to tailor your social circle to be beneficial for you. Let me know everything down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And as always, if you enjoyed another weigh-in, WW workshop topic, and some goal setting, give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe, ring your bell so you don't miss a future video. Everything I talked about today will be linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come join us if you want a happy, positive group to be part of. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Friday. I'll see you in Sunday's video and I'll see you on the road to Arizona. Bye.